I'm Michaela Schipper, professor of behavior and performance management um, at the Erasmus University in Rotterdam and I do this on a personal note. Yeah, my name is Rico Brouwer, we're both from the Netherlands and I'm no scientist. I'm a journalist, uh, is what I, I aspire to do with Follow the Science. So find scientists and have their story be told in a way that everybody can relate to that. That sounds great uh, Rico, so that's what I want to do too. What's your, yeah, well, what's your, <laughs> what's your uh, drive to make follow the science? What's it, what's it about? I think it's really important that all these age-old questions that we have, uh, science has a lot to offer in them, like uh, how to make this world a better place. We know so much more uh, meaning in life. These are very, very old questions, but also very deep questions. And people, the science didn't have an answer in the beginning. What can we do with meaning in life? What can we do with love? What can we do? But now we know much more about this. And this is what I think could be shared with the, with the world m uh, much more and in a yeah, easy to understand way actually. So that's what I want to do too. All of society appears to be divided on multiple levels and uh, as is science. Mm -hmm. So there yes. appears to be two groups of science scientists. Um, two groups? I, I, would I would say there's a zillion groups of scientists so and they all fight each other, but that's good, uh, that's good actually, I think. Will we be talking to all of them? So what differentiates, what, how do they stand out, uh, who, who do we invite? Actually, um, for now I will select them because I think they have something interesting to tell us. So, um, but everybody can also suggest the scientists that they think have an interesting story to tell. And it's more also kind of intuition that you think, hey, this is really, this scientist is really nailing it or has really something to say and it's not just doing one or another experiment and another experiment and changing a little thing and come on, we have another one. No, really something interesting to say to the public. The gimmick that we came up with was uh, me being a journalist, following the scientists and saying, hey, can I ask you a question? Yes. <laughs> so, w w uh, will they all respond as, as favorable as you did? What I hope think? so. Uh, I, I think most of them will, actually. A lot of people that do really interesting research also want to share it with the world. But maybe, yeah, some scientists, are, um, you have to ask the driver, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's follow the science.